welcome to this month's patron video and it's a beautiful day here, a day between weathers. Yesterday was windy, rainy, it's been windy and rainy for weeks so again I've been struggling to get out. Today it's forecast and snow so I'm just going to go out and we're just going to go on a bit of a magical mystery tour. Just turning off towards Scalawa and Scalawa will come into view in a moment. Scalawa is the former capital of Shetland, so it was the capital until around about 1838, I think is the year that they stopped reading proclamations from the gates at the Scalawa Castle and started reading them from Larrick. So, it was the 1830s that Larrick became the capital and this is Scalawa just coming into view, just nestled under the hill and you might see the, the silhouette of the castle there on the left. So just coming around the corner. Scalawa is uh, where I grew up, so my mum still lives in Scalawa. And that's on the, the west side of Shetland. So we're kind of on the west side at the moment. Now we're turning right and we're going to go through the Tingwall Valley. So the Tingwall Valley is a, a lovely fertile limestone valley and uh, we're going to go and have a look at the Norse Ting site which I'll explain a bit more about. So we have a stunning still morning and behind me, just there on that promontory that's um, sticking out into the loch here, that is the Ting site where the Vikings and Norse settlers would meet every year and hold their parliament. So they held a parliament here um, every year, round about this time of year, it was in November and they would send delegates from each part of the community who would come here and they would discuss laws and they would punish prisoners, prisoners? Punish criminals, they might become prisoners. You can see the light this morning is absolutely stunning and there's a couple of swans trying to get them, a couple of swans on the water. So it was, yeah, it was here that the, the Vikings would come and then the, the later we called them the Norse settlers because the Vikings arrived here and they settled the land, they became Norse settlers and they ruled Shetland up until 1469 and as I said it was here just up there that they would come and they would hold their parliament. So the word Tingwall comes from the, the word Ting which means a parliament and you find it in place names throughout Shetland. A lot of our parish names contain the word Ting, which indicate that they had a parliament or a meeting place there. Um, so we've got Lunasting, Nesting, Delting, uh, Sandsting, Aithsting, so lots and lots of different Ting sites. And they held parliaments here since the Vikings arrived around about 850 AD, right up until um, 1469 when we became part of Scotland. But even though we'd become part of Scotland, they continued to hold a parliament here in this area uh, right up until the 1600s, 1611, when um, it was the, the use of um, Norse law was banned by an act of parliament. So we were using um, this area, beautiful Tingwall Valley, as the, the main parliament site for the islands. And as I said, this happened right from when the Vikings arrived, right up until we became part of Scotland. They were meeting here every year. 